Howdy, 6 Speed Dakota here with a quick tip on how to fix your lawnmower pull cord. Now, I had a neighbor at the cabin complain about this that I didn't uh, didn't show him how to do it. So, here you go, Billy. You can watch it on YouTube this time. So, all you basically need are two thinner flat blade screwdrivers. And, of course, you're going to need a new rope with a, with a handle if, if your rope is not long enough. If it's broken too many times and somebody's had to cut it shorter and shorter and I like this handle this is the one that I got on the motor it's a it's a stock Briggs handle you might not be able to see that logo there I like it because the pistol grip makes it nice to easy to pull rather than and this is just a cheap nylon rope with a with a starter kit that I got in uh, from my local Canadian tire the other thing you're gonna need is a lighter of some sort to heat seal the knot so starting out here Alright, so this is the second starter I have for my lawnmower Mozilla. Because the first one, the spring broke inside there. So now, you see this bolt here, you don't want to take this out because this piece will come off and the spring inside there will just go spring and yeah. You need a lot of patience to rewind that spring. So, what we need to do is we need to determine the direction that this thing goes. So. This being the front of the mower, you notice that the hole right here for the starter cord means that when you pull it, this turns clockwise. So when we turn it upside down, we know that it will turn counterclockwise. So what we're going to do is we're going to wind it with our hand. Uh -oh. Every so often you can stop, put a screw, stab a screwdriver through it to hold it in place. Some, some you may need to use two screwdrivers to hold it in place, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind this guy all the way back. I can be careful with this. Whatever you do, once you get to the end and you'll feel it stop, do not force it any further. A lot of, and you'll feel it tighten up the further you get in. The reason you want it wound all the way back so that the oops, so that the cord retracts all the way in. So now I can feel it stop. I don't want to go any further than that, or I could break the spring inside. Now, if we look, and the two, so I'm going to take one of my screwdrivers, stick it through here to hold it in place stay. Okay, so notice that this part right here is where the rope needs to be tied. So what we're going to do is we're going to spin that around until it meets with this point right here. So pretty much having this thing wound completely out set it up perfectly or just about so that this outside piece here lines up almost directly with this guy right here. So now what we'll do is we'll take the end of the rope feed it through the hole. I apologize if you can't see this very well. do is we're just going to feed it so this guy comes through here like that. So we're going to pull some rope through like this. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot. And I'm going to double knot that one to be just as confident that this isn't going to fall apart again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some 
pliers and I'm going to really yank down on this knot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the cord through and make sure that this guy here can sit in this little area here. So notice my screwdriver is actually holding this piece here steady at full extension. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my lighter and I'm going to heat this knot just like baking until it turns a bit of a golden brown and you start to see the nylon melt a little bit. This is called heat sealing the knot and my lighter sucks. So now that I got the knot heat sealed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the end of this rope tightly here, so I pull the screwdriver out. Now I'm going to slowly let the rope wind itself back in, and there we go. That's all there is to it. Underneath. So I pull the cam action works. And there we go. That wasn't so hard. It's an easy job, easy fix. And uh, if you need some more rope, you should be able to get it at your local hardware store. So just make sure if you do have to put any kind of rope and not some specific starter rope, uh, nylon or some kind of polyester works very well because when you heat seal the knot it'll actually melt the knot together kind of thing that's the whole point in doing that so this thing's ready to cut some more grass alright thanks for watching everybody